This is a special coverage of the coronavirus crisis using the combined forces of News 5 and Signal TV's One News, Radio Cinco and One PH. The Tokyo Olympics will kick off on July 23, 2021 after it was pushed back for a year as a response to the COVID-19 pandemic. The organizing committee says this intends to protect the health of the athletes and everybody involved and to support the containment of COVID-19. The new Olympic dates, which will run until August 9, 9 August 9, 2021, will overlap with the original dates for the 2021 World Championships in Aquatics and Track and Field. Meanwhile, the Paralympic Games will run from August 24 to September 5, 2021. At bukod po sa sakit, kalawat ka ng perwisyo pa mula sa mga komunidad ang naranasan ng ilang COVID-19 patients. Patunay po dyan ang pagharang sa isang ambulansya sa tondo na maghatid lang sana ng isang pasyenteng pauwi. Sa Angeles Pampanga naman, isang ospital doon ang nilockdown ng mismong mayor. Nagbabalita si Laila Pangilinan. Higit dalawang araw na na-lockdown ang Philippine Rehabilitation Institute and Medical Center sa Angeles, Pampanga, matapos ipag-utos ng mismong alkalde ng lungsod. Sa Facebook statement ng PRIMC, nakasaad na may apat silang pasyente galing Quezon City na nakakaranas ng sintomas ng COVID-19. Ayon sa ospital, nakakumpletong personal protective equipment o PPE naman daw ang tumanggap sa mga pasyente. Siniguro ng pamunuan ng ospital na handa sila sa hamon ng COVID-19. Bagay na kinontra ng alkalde. May nangyari po na hindi maganda. Yung pong pasyente po daw, nag-expire na. The one from Quezon City? Yes. Yes. I just learned about it last night. Okay. Saan po nila dadalin? Ang syudad po natin may crematorium. Mm -hmm. But is the crematorium ready? The crematorium is ready. Mm -hmm. But is the hospital ready? Mm -hmm. They don't even have a body bag. Nilinaw naman ang alkalde na hindi ang pagiging tag-ibang lugar ng mga pasyente ang dahilan ng lockdown, kundi ang kawalan daw ng komunikasyon ng pamunuan ng ospital sa LGU. There is no proper coordination. They had admitted somebody. Uh, they had admitted somebody who is positive. Where the city does not know if they are prepared. If they are prepared, bakit wala po silang body bag? Basic tayo. Bakit ayaw nilang... Sagutin ang mga tawag namin ni Dr. Canlas. Pero ngayong araw, hindi na nakapalag ang alkalde matapos ipag-utos ng DILG na muling buksa ng PRIMC. Samantala, kinumpirma ni Mayor Lazatin na ang Rafael Lazatin Memorial Hospital ang gagawin COVID-19 Center sa Angeles City. Ayaw kami palalabasin kasama namin yung Bureau of Fire Protection. naka -PPE sila. Kanina pa kami nandito. Ganito naman ang eksena sa barangay 246 sa Tondo, Maynila, kung saan hinarang ang isang ambulansyang mag-uuwi sana ng isang COVID-19 patient para mag-self-quarantine. Asymptomatic ang pasyente na noon ay nakitaan pa lang ng sintomas ng COVID-19 bago lumabas ang resulta ng test nito lamang weekend. Giit ng DILG, hindi dapat hinarangan ng barangay ang pasyente, lalo pa kung wala namang sariling quarantine facility ito. Kailangan tulungan kasi unang-una, the barangay must have its own isolation facility as well. Kung nagpapaya sila, hindi sila nag-set up, then they should get the help of the city hall through the DRRMO para madalas sila doon sa isolation facility na sinetap ng Luzon ng Maynila. Ayon naman sa DOH, sa Jaro, pinapauwi ng mga ospital ang mga pasyente kung mild symptoms lang ang nararamdaman at lalo na kung asymptomatic. Ito raw ay para maiwasan na mapuno ang mga ospital. Natugunan na natin kanina, no? itinawag po natin ito sa ating uh, local officials ng City of Manila at agad-agad naman silang tumugon dito. Ang masasabi lang po natin dito, kapag ang isang pasyente po ay pinauwi ng ating mga facility, Ito po ay kasama sa ating protocol. Sabi po natin kapag ang isang pasyente na COVID positive pero may mild symptoms o di kaya ay wala siyang symptoms, maari po siyang pauwi ng ospital. Kwento naman ang pasyente. Tapos pinapalis kami ng pilis, sinabi ng nung mga ambulance sa gabi ng Manila Health Department na pinawang matingnan na sila, pero hindi. Sinubukan ng News 5 na kunin ang pahayag ng PGH, pero hanggang ngayon ay wala pa rin itong sagot. Humaaksyon, Laila Pangilinan, News 5. 
The MVP Group is stepping up its efforts to respond to the COVID-19 crisis. The Metro Pacific Hospitals Group has established a crisis team to coordinate activities against the rising number of COVID-19 cases. MPIC Chairman Manny V. Pangilinan says the hospitals group is also focusing its resources on critically ill patients infected by the SARS-like virus. And if the pandemic worsens in the coming weeks, Metro Pacific Hospitals will set up tents complete with beds and equipment for non-critical COVID cases. These will be placed in selected hospital grounds. Meanwhile, the Alagang Kapalit Foundation has provided almost 3,800 servings of frozen soup and hundreds of bottled water from Manila to health workers and military troops. The foundation, in coordination with the Philippine Marine Corps, also donated food items and care packages to frontliners who passed through checkpoint borders. And that's the latest on the enhanced and expanded community quarantine in Luzon. For more updates, follow News 5, the Philippine Star, and Business World Online. I'm Ed Lingao. We are One News.